Hi everyone, welcome back to this channel. This is Timothy from Cognito Academy, and today we will be covering on the kinematics of falling objects, specifically with and without air resistance. Firstly, free fall in vacuum. In this clip, you see a bowling ball and a feather being released in a vacuum, meaning there is no air resistance. We can observe that they are both falling at the same rate, taking the same duration to fall the same height. This is because acceleration of any object due to gravity is a constant and it's not affected by mass. Looking at the velocity time graph for both the bowling ball and the feather, we can see that both objects share the same line on the graph since their motion during freefall is similar as in the clip. Firstly, the graph starts at zero. Since at time zero, both objects are stationary momentarily right before release. As time progresses, we see a straight line graph indicating a constant gradient of 9.81. Gradient of the velocity time graph is the acceleration. Hence, both objects are undergoing a constant acceleration of 9.81 meters per second squared. Another feature of the graph is the area under it, which gives us the displacement of both objects. We can see that at the 1 second mark, area under the graph for both objects are similar as they share the same graph. Also to say that at any point of time, the displacement of both objects are the same as seen in the clip. Mathematically, let's see why acceleration is similar for both objects regardless of mass. The bowling ball is 10 kg and feather is 1 kg. We know that gravitational field strength on Earth's surface is 9.81 newtons per kilogram. Hence, for every kilogram, it experiences a weight of 9.81 newtons. Hence, we multiply both masses by 9.81 newtons per kilogram to get their weights. Next, since Newton's second law of motions states that force is equal to mass times acceleration, acceleration is just simply force divided by mass. Hence, we take the force which is the weight of the object divided by its mass to give us the acceleration. And as we see, acceleration due to gravity for both objects is similar regardless of mass. Another observation is that gravitational field strength is numerically similar to the acceleration due to gravity. And this is true regardless of the mass or the gravitational field you are in. So in these scenarios, we have learned that objects in free fall without air resistance will accelerate down at 9.81 meters per second squared regardless of mass. But in real life, where air is present all around us, air resistance is bound to occur on objects that are falling. We have covered free fall in vacuum, but what about falling in air? Here is a clip of feathers falling in air. Observe the feather speed. Notice that they are falling at constant speed, instead of accelerating down like the bowling ball and feather just now. This is because the feathers here experience air resistance, which cancels out its weight entirely. Hence, net force on these feathers is zero, which by Newton's first law, states that the feathers will continue in state of uniform speed, which is its terminal velocity. Let's take a closer look at what is happening to the feathers at each instant. When a feather is first released, its velocity is momentarily zero, and no air resistance acts on it, since air resistance depends on its velocity. Therefore, the only force that's acting on it is its weight, which results in its downwards acceleration of 9.81 meters per second squared, as acceleration is given by net force divided by mass. The feather gains velocity, but the higher its velocity, the higher the air resistance. And we can see that the net force on the feather is actually decreasing due to this increasing air resistance. This results in a smaller acceleration. This acceleration is directly proportional to net force. This feather will accelerate to a velocity where air resistance is equal to its weight, cancelling each other out. Hence net force on the feather is zero, meaning acceleration is also zero. Velocity now is constant and we say the feather here has reached the minimal velocity, falling at a constant velocity. Now, let's draw the acceleration time graph of this falling feather in air. Initially, when the feather is released, velocity is zero, hence no air resistance acts on the feather. Acceleration is maximum at 9.81 meter per second squared. But as the feather gains speed, more air resistance acts on the feather, and the net force on the feather decreases and so does its acceleration. Feather gains speed to a point where air resistance cancels out the weight, and net force is zero at this point, and hence, acceleration is also zero. With the acceleration time graph, 
let's next draw the velocity time graph on the right, using the idea that acceleration is the gradient of the velocity time graph. The initial acceleration is the highest, hence gradient for our velocity time graph is the steepest. Over time, acceleration decreases, meaning our gradient becomes less steep. And when acceleration reaches zero, our gradient is effectively zero. This wraps up our video on the kinematics of falling objects. If you liked this video and found it helpful, do like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell to stay tuned for more content. Also, do visit our website www.cognito.academy to view our awesome academic content to learn more. With that, see you soon!